very well? Yes. Thank you. This is afternoon session, post lunch session. I think post lunch session is already over now. One sleep is already over. So I need not have to fear that you will sleep again. Okay. Uh, this is the budget uh, session. Normally what happens is budget session, immediately after budget, budget there is a sensation. Correct? But all newspapers they publish. Then uh, any TV we have seen the debates. Then we get confused because what happens is normally ruling party people, what they do is they always appreciate the budget. Any announcement, so everybody made good the so that the parliament you might have seen. Correct, no? So all opposition leaders. They always say that it is a hopeless budget. So nothing is there in this budget. Only paper, it is in the paper. Nothing is there. Correct now? But we being citizens of India, we need to know what is the real essence of the budget and what is there in the budget. And what is the state of the economy of our nation as well as our state. Have you analyzed the budget of our Karnataka state? Have you analyzed this time? Karnataka state budget, have you analyzed? No. Okay. And uh, have you analyzed the central budget? Yes. What is the size of the central budget now, this year's size? Anybody can say? I am asking all very simple questions. Uh, 45 lakh crore. 45.03 lakh crore. Okay? Very good. What about last year's size? Last year budget. Whether it is more than last year or less than last year? More than last year. Then what is the last year's size of the budget? The last exam will be added. He said, you will be done. So, 39.45 lakh that has been revised. See, not normally what happens. Budgeted figures, as and when it requires revision, they revise also. So, that 35.38.4, lakh crore has been revised to 41.87 lakh crore. So they have revised the budget, then 45.03 lakh crore this year, this year it is the size of the budget. What is the speciality in this budget? So you have analyzed the budget. Can anybody say what is the state of the economy, especially in India? Where we stand? Whether we are on better footing than US, whether we are on better footing than UK or whether we are on better footing than Japan or China. Can anybody say? Where we stand? See, across the globe, when all economies, either they are registering negative growth or small percentage of growth, crawling, crawling economy. India is the only one nation registering a growth of 7% in spite of all odds, geopolitical issues, Russia, Ukraine war across the globe. Recessionary situation across the globe. Okay. Inflation. In many countries, it has crossed double digit inflation. Very dangerous. We will not compare with our Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Nepal, and such countries. They are having triple digit growth in inflation. I'm talking about so called developed countries when they achieve 
it is not achieved. When they are registering inflation of double digit, what is our inflation rate? Can anybody say? What is the inflation rate? I am asking a simple question. Madam, next time budget analysis. First, economic analysis one topic you have to do. Then budget analysis. Okay? So, inflation is around 5.66, 6 point maximum. On an average, it is going 6. What is the ideal inflation rate? It is not in syllabus, huh? What is the ideal inflation rate? Normally 2 to 4 percent is the inflation rate. 2 percent is good, but 4 percent is okay because when the economy is registered in growth, some inflation is also required. Without inflation, growth cannot be done. Okay. Then fiscal deficit. Can anybody say what is fiscal deficit? Fiscal deficit, current account deficit, primary deficit. Okay. India's fiscal deficit, it has come down from 6.9% 6 to 5.9%. 6 5 okay. Fiscal deficit. What is the ideal fiscal deficit? Ideal fiscal deficit is fiscal deficit itself is not ideal, but what is the acceptable? Okay, four percent. So Nirmala Sitaraman, before presenting the budget, previous day, every year when we present the budget. Previous day, we present economic survey. Are you aware about it? What is economic survey? Economic survey is nothing but state of the economy. Whatever last year's budget, budgeted figures, visa is, what is the actual achievements until the date of presentation of the budget and what is the estimation for current fiscal year and what is the budget, budgeted figures for the next foreseeable years, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years, okay. So, in the economic survey, this inflation rate also they have modulated, okay. Soon after this union budget, on 8th February, Reserve Bank has announced monetary policy, correct. Are you aware about what is monetary policy? What is monetary policy of Reserve Bank of India? Who is the central bank for USA? Which is the central bank for uh, India? Sorry? Central bank means bankers bank. RBI. So, which is the central bank of USA? Federal Reserve. We call by nickname Fed. When Fed increases the rate, almost all other countries across the globe, they also increase their rate, repo rate. Here we call repo rate. Okay. During the last one year, maybe 11 months, there is an increase of 2.5% in repo rate. How much? 2.5% in repo rate. Is it good for the country or bad? Why repo rate may increase? When repo rate increase, rate of interest will increase. Both for depositors and or advances. But bankers immediately increase advances rate. Deposit rate they slowly increase. For pensioners and those who live on interest income, for them, when the repo rate increases, that it is good. Correct, they will get better rate of interest on their fixed deposits. 
to contain inflation they normally increase normally increase report so when report rate increases emi on housing loan emi on car loan emi on whatever investment loans all these rates are will increase when they increase naturally the demand for in the market will come down so what is inflation what is the definition of inflation too many goods supply too less demand correct no so to contain the demand they will increase the rates but if they increase the rate substantially the growth will also get cut the growth will also get cut so inflationary situation is not good for any economy okay moderate inflation is okay but above moderate because this inflation it is not good for any economy so in the economic survey our fm has already projected to reduce this fiscal deficit by 25 26 4.5%. So, what is the fiscal deficit? Fiscal deficit is nothing but mismatch between the receipts and expenditure. When there is a mismatch between the receipts and expenditure, the gap will be filled by borrowers. Okay? The gap will be filled by borrowers. Higher the fiscal deficit. More the borrowings, more the borrowings, more the interest commitment. In our entire outlay of the budget, you can show that outlay of the budget. The chart. No, no. Twenty percent of our budgeted expenditure goes for payment of interest. How much? Twenty percent of budgeted expenditure it goes for. payment of interest it is not at all a good situation but nothing can be done bad rupee goes it is here interest payment 20% central is sponsored scheme 9% subsidy is 7% this year subsidies have been mellowed down they have been little bit reduced at the time we can reduce then defense 8% because we have hita shatrus near by us and shatrus board who is shatru pakistan who is hita shatru china acting like a friend but the enemy okay. then central sector schemes 17% finance commission and other transfers 9% state share of taxes and duty 18% other expenditure 9 8% pensions 4% this is where rupee goes rupee from where it comes see Thanks to our spur uh, in the economy, our direct and both indirect taxes. There is a record collection, more than 12 percent growth in the collection, and recently yesterday they were told still better collection, more than 16 percent growth than the last year. So that's why income tax it is 15 percent. then central excise duty 7% corporate taxes 15% it shows corporate taxes there is a growth mean this shows that all industries corporates they are doing well when they are doing well they pay more taxes then goods and service tax and other taxes 17% that is gst then customs 4% non debt capital receipts 2% non tax receipts 6% borrowing and other liabilities 34% <coughs> we say our borrowing is very very high let's compare our borrowing with five top economies in the world okay let's compare our borrowing with the Top five economies in the world, and who is on better side? We will see. Even though there is borrowing more in India, 
the borrowing is utilized for the purpose of investment in capex. What is the capex? Capital expenditure. Infrastructure. If you spend more and more on capex and more and more on infrastructure, the benefit of that investment is 3 to 5 times. If you borrow and spend on subsidies, spend on revenue expenditure, then it is dangerous. Okay. Now you see here, foreign debt to GDP ratio, our Dardana, who is Dardana? Okay. USA. What is the rate? Debt to GDP is 128%. China, whatever you say, good things we should appreciate. Correct? No? In many aspects, China has overtaken us and China is going very fast and we are little bit slow. Maybe because of federal structure in our nation. You know the federal structure, whatever central says, state should also double engine sarkar they say in our Modi they say double engine sarkar. So, but when it's central and states, they have different governments, then the growth will be hampered. Okay. So here China 85%, good. Japan 266% debt to GDP ratio, very high. Then Germany 150%, so called more developed country, correct? 150%. India only 83%. India only, should not tell it, only. 83 percent. When compared to other countries, otherwise you have to tell it is more. Then UK, 317 percent. Our great leaders, they go and talk in UK parliament that India is not at all good. India's democracy is not there. They are this and that. Our patriots, they go other countries and they talk about India's economy. Will you now applaud for this uh, excellent uh, performance of Indian economy, where you have applauded. <laughs> I can't hear. Ah, very, nice. very, very nice. Okay. Now, I will not cover whether milk rate 2 rupees increased or petrol rate 2 rupees. That all everybody knows. We should know where we stand and where we are going, correct no, direction. That direction we should know and where we stand and where we are going. Okay, we should know. Okay, then ranking United States 1, China 2, Japan 3, Germany 4, India was 6 earlier. Now we have overtaken UK and we are in, we are in our fifth position. By 2030 our idea is to go to third place. Okay. Now GDP growth, already I have mentioned, nominal GDP and GDP, uh, real GDP. This is nominal GDP, 23 trillion US dollars. This is 17.73 trillion US dollars. Japan 4.93 trillion, Germany 4.22, India 3.7 trillion and UK 3.2 trillion. What is our target within next two years? Five trillion dollar economy. Five trillion dollar economy. Can anybody say what is the difference between nominal GDP and real GDP? Madam, you should keep one separate session for all these economic terms. Because without knowing that, if we talk about budget, at the end you will remember income tax rate and uh, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, interest free loan and uh, small things only. We don't, we have the concepts we don't understand. First, we should understand concepts. You are all first year students or second year? First year. Yeah. Oh, first year students. Good. Um, second year students, they are class. Correct? Exam. Sorry? Exam. 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 This is the life exam. We should know 
what about our country and what about our budget what about the concepts okay what is nominal gdp and real gdp can, can anybody say students not professor professors they are well versed but they are not conveyed to students yes. what is nominal gdp and real gdp what is the difference Nominal GDP minus inflation rate is real GDP. Okay. So next year our projected GDP is seven percent. Nominal GDP is projected eleven percent. That means our inflation we want to attain to four percent. Four percent. Okay. So GDP growth rate two point two, five point five, one point six. 0.5 India 7% UK 1% who stands first India East or West India is West Let me cover our Karnataka We are all staying in Karnataka Karnataka is considered the best state in entire India by Niti Ayo, not by me. First time in the history of our state, revenue surplus budget. First time in the history of our state, we have presented this year, revenue surplus budget. This part of that, people say, it is a hopeless budget, nothing is there. Because beauty lies in the world of sense. I always say, you are, you are not able to see the beauty means something is wrong with your eyes, not with the beauty. Correct, no? So that we should know. And our Karnataka GDP rate, GDP rate, Karnataka state, how much? 7.9% better than GDP of India. So, <clears throat> unemployment rate, you see, in June 2020, it was 20.9%. Now it has come down to around 8% India. And Karnataka, it is just 2.2 or 2.3%, uh, this unemployment rate. <clears throat> Nominal, real GDP, all these things covered. Next. Budget size already covered. Next. Fiscal deficit. I already mentioned about what is fiscal deficit covered. In states, normal benchmark is fiscal deficit 3%. Now they have little bit extended to 3.5%. But when compared to 3.5%, still we are within the Limit that is 3.26 percent, 23, 24, it is 2.6 percent. Our GST collection is second largest in the in India amongst all the states. Then, in state budget, one major announcement I will not take over the agriculture. Data. Agriculture is how many are here? Oh, you are all agriculture. You will get all 5 lakhs this are part, okay? 5 lakhs, correct no? 5 lakhs rupees, up to 5 lakhs rupees, Krishan credit card without any interest, 0% interest. It was 3 lakhs, now they have next to 5 lakhs. And earlier, for the last more than 10, 15 years, profession tax they used to charge if salary is rupees 15,000 or more per month. How much? 200 rupees per month. Per annum? 2,400. That limit has been increased to 25,000 per month. Those who are drawing salary up to rupees 25,000 per month, they need not have to pay profession tax. That means every year they will save 2,000. 400 rupees. That is a good uh, move in Karnataka. In Maharashtra, if one draws salary of 7,500, from then itself they charge a profession tax. 
state like Maharashtra, they need not have to because their collection is more. But in Karnataka, 15,000, soon after crossing 15,000, earlier profession tax was there, that has been enhanced to 25,000. That is the state. So, the small chitu pedo, Amil Kundarsu. The gist of Karnataka budget, I will tell you. Krishi gave what to another the layer of the Karnataka. Krishi gave what to Vidyarthi Niri gave Gamatu. Vidyarthi Niri gave Gamatu. College were again, we say, up to government college. Up to uh, degree, no fees. All three kebab, all three bus, three. All three. Mahi Niri gave Kimatu. More respect for ladies. Pravaso Dhyamakke Kinji. Bengalurige Savalakti, Infrastructure, Aneka Shakti Gadege Kimmatthu, A Shakti, E Shakti, Vidya Shakti, Alla Shakti Kodbeka. 3.09 lakh budget in a Gatra da Sampat. Kata Adhidare, Aarthika Shistina Niya. This is Karnataka State Budget. Okay? Okay, now you do it. Now, sector wise, we can analyze the union budget. Sector wise, first let us come to income tax. Okay, everybody is interested in income tax right now. Do you have a subject on income tax in MBA? Two term. Second year. First year, no income tax. Okay. First year, GST is there. GST is not at all done both the years, sir. Second year. Second year. Okay. GST should be introduced from first year because soon after you start the business, you have to pay GST. Okay. Income tax, there are two regimes. Basically, you are aware about it. Two regimes. One is old regime, another is new regime. So, everybody answers. Correct. Old versus new. Okay. Old regime and new regime. In old regime, no change whatsoever. In old regime, no change whatsoever. Now, the dynamics of this new regime, can anybody say what is the dynamics of this new regime? India is shifting from Saving based economy to pending based economy. India is shifting from saving based economy to pending based economy. Is it good? Yes. Good? Yes, In inflationary situation, when there are more and more goods are produced, to create more and more demand, then to get more and more money in the hands of the people, this new regime of taxation they are giving impetus. Okay. Normally, Western countries, US and all, there is always pending based economy. Okay. Here we have savings based economy because you know now savings based economy. Up to 2.5 lakhs, uh, this, uh, this uh, old up to 2.5 lakhs income, no tax. For senior citizens, up to 3 lakhs, no tax. Okay. Then 2.5 lakhs to 5, 5 lakhs, 5%, 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs, 20%, about 10 lakhs, 30%. Then up to 5 lakhs if you have income. Then rebate is that. Up to 4,39,000, you need not have to pay any tax. Once it crosses 5 lakhs, then from 2.5 lakhs, you have to pay the taxes. Plus, you will get standard deduction for salaried pension as 50,000 rupees. Deduction. Then ATC, insurance premium, housing loan retirement. Stamp duty and registration charges for purchase of the new house. Lot of uh, uh, whatever the incentives given under ATC. Then ATD, many claim 
ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮೇಡಮ್
electrical current. See now many gadgets because of duty rates have been slashed and many gadgets rates have been increased. Can you show the chart that for all that uh, this is seen? Budget 2023 what gets cheaper and what gets costlier? Custom duty on parts of open cells of TV panels cut to 2.5%. Mobile also it is reduced. Then uh, custom duty on uh, import of certain input on mobile phone manufacturing. Basic custom duty on seeds used for manufacture of lab grown diamond. You know what is lab grown diamonds? Are you aware that diamond can be grown in lab also? It is as good as that diamond also. Lab grown diamond. Okay. To encourage more and more that diamond. Then, shrimp seed to promote export. See what happened? <coughs> Here now, aquaculture we are doing. For aquaculture, it requires seed of shrimp. Correct now? That seed, if you are importing, that duty has been slashed. What gets costlier? That is cigarettes, 16% national calamity. Contingent duty. Whether all stops uh, stops uh, smoking cigarette now? No. Whether they stop? No. But at least some money is collected. Okay. Basic import duty on compounded rubber increased to 25% from 10%. Because there was huge crime. Because here a lot of rubber is grown in India. Prices are getting rock bottom. So, because of import from outside, that's why duty is increased. So that, that uh, there is a check on import. Then custom duty of kitchen, electric chimney increase for 15% from 7.5 to 15%. Kitchen chimney, if you import, that is being increased. Okay. These are all no problem. Then, MSNEs. You are aware about, about MS, what is MSME you are aware? Agriculture and MSME, who are the major sectors who contribute substantially for the growth of our economy. Okay. Agriculture contributes nearly 20% to our GDP and MSME contributes nearly 29 to 30% to our GDP. So, agriculture and MSM sector together they contribute 50% to the GDP of our economy. Okay. So now, MSM sector, what is MSM? Micro, small, micro, small and medium, medium enterprises. Are you aware what is micro, what is small, what is medium? There is a definition. If the investment in Plant and missionary equipment up to 1 crore and turnover up to 5 crore. That is micro. Then small investment in plant and missionary equipment up to 5 crore. Turnover up to 50 crore. Then investment in plant and missionary or equipment above 5 crore up to 50 crore. Turnover up to 250 crore. It is a medium enterprise. Except real estate and stock market transaction. Almost all trans, uh, activities are covered under MSME subject to this ceiling definition. Earlier, retail trade was not covered under MSME. Wholesale trade was not covered under MSME. Educational institution, they were covered, but for the purpose of collateral free loan, they were not covered. But now they have also been covered. The purpose of this is to give more and more flow of funds for MSME sector because MSME generates maximum employment. Okay. More than 11 crore people formally directly they are engaged in MSME sector employment. Indirectly it is much more. Okay. Here if anybody wants to start the unit under MSMP or existing MSMP, up to 2 crore, bank can fund collateral free loan. Bank can fund 
collateral tree not collateral tree not with jaminu beda jaminu beda okay without any collateral with the with the, the guarantee for that credit guarantee to make more and more flow of funds they have year marked in this budget 9000 crores this 9000 crore is guarantee fees coverage it is not a credit because of this 9000 crore nearly 2 lakh crore more credit will flow in the msme sector that is the purpose in agriculture sector also 20 lakh crore target is given for agriculture next 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 This skill India. See the main problem in India is every year more than eight lakhs graduates they are coming out of the colleges. Correct, no? So they do not get job. Only ten percent they get job. Remaining ninety percent they get the job provided they are employable. They are not employable because basic their skill. to do the work they lack so that's why national skill development corporation nsdc they have set up through nsdc lot of training they are giving in this budget also <coughs> trust has been given for skill india and for entrepreneurship schemes also many startups also they are supporting okay so india is the third largest startup ecosystem in the world india is the third largest startup ecosystem in the world okay on average each startup they give job for 11 people <coughs> on average each startup they give job for 11 people presently in india There are eighty thousand plus startups. How many? Eighty thousand plus startups. Every day, on an average, eighty startups are being registered in India. So there is fantastic scope for startups. So startups in the also scheme, they have given three years income tax exemption limit out of ten years, seed funding support, 